Okay, okay, what's going on guys? Got another review for you back today. Um, not a review, more of a first impressions video, and then I'll do a review later on. Kind of give you some pros or cons, but I just want to go over it right now. Really excited about this one. Uh, waited and waited and waited and almost bought it a couple of times. Uh, but this is the Zenith V2 one to one clone and it is sick as tits sorry to use rip trippers phrase but it's sick as tits uh i really 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 love this dripper uh i'm gonna go ahead and say i like it better better than i like the stellaire and those people that are in my little vape circle know I love the Stellar and talked it up and I'm gonna go ahead and say this is better than the Stellar. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a vape real quick show you had vapes um, then I'll kind of show you what all came with it and take it from there okay so let's take a vape And as you can see, she chucks the vapor. Oh my God. Nice flavor. Nice warmth. Nice throat hit. Anything you could look for in vaping. Bye, ya. And she's sexy. Uh, let me go ahead and show you what she came with. Uh, she came in this box here. Uh, nothing on the back. Uh, just rebuildable atomizer. Uh, got it off eBay, 55 bucks. Uh, G Vapors is the one who's got this one. Uh, that was pre-order price. I went back on eBay today. They're 65 bucks. So I guess 55 was the pre-order price, but they're now 65 bucks. Um, I also messaged G Vapors on eBay to see what brand it is, and they still have not got back to me. So maybe by the time that I do my official review. Maybe I'll have the brand, but as of now, I don't know. It's not branded in any way, except for the Zenith engraving, but it's a clone, so they put it on there. But anyhow, let's open the box up. Uh, it did come with four rings, four rings in total. Um, it did come with the brass ring on it, but I, I love the black one. I think it's hot. Uh, right now, black's in right now. As far as mods and drippers and things go, black is happening. Uh, but it does come with, of course, the black. Um, of course, the brass, as we have talked about. Um, comes with a copper and comes with a stainless. Um, also, if you lift this up here, it does come with a little goodie bag. And it did come with an uh, Allen wrench key. Uh, so you can tighten and loosen the contacts. Uh, and to be honest with you, have I ever had a real authentic Zenith V2? No, I have not. But I have watched a lot of reviews on it. And from what I can tell, it is of an exact one-to-one -one clone. Uh, let's go ahead and pop the top off. Kind of show you what's under the hood here. Uh, I'm not going to take my build out. You'll just have to kind of take my word for it. And feel like I'm being honest with you. Um, it does again. It has the square negatives. The round center of the negatives are connected directly to the base. Um, I do believe welded from what I've heard. Um, it does have the big slot holes like the original Zenith. Um, it even has the little swirly juice well to where it has the little squirrel marks on it if you know what I'm talking about um, has that as well so I mean they did a fantastic job on um, basically doing a replica on this thing it is an exact one to one and uh, that is what G Vapor advertises they say it's the only true one to one Zenith clone on eBay uh, reason I bought it 
is because it did come with the four rings, one of them being the black, because I did want the black one. Uh, but other than that, this thing, this thing's a beast. I've got nothing bad to say. I, I've got one bad thing to say about it. Um, in my flip, anyway, I don't know about other devices. It's kind of finicky when I use a 1600 milliamp E-Fest. Uh, didn't really have any problems at all when I had a Sony in here earlier. A Sony, uh, I do believe I had a VTC5 and I put a VTC4 in it as well. And didn't misfire once. Uh, with the E-Fest though, I've noticed sometimes it misfires and doesn't fire at all to where I got to go in there and mess with my adjustable pin. Uh, but that's again just with the E-Fest 1600. I think they're V1s because they're the flat top, whichever one, the flat top E-Fest 1600 milliamp. Uh, really didn't work good with the Zenith. I don't know why, uh, and the Sonys did. But anyhow, other than that, no big issue. Uh, again, it does have the, let's go ahead and take it off the mod real quick. Hopefully I can get the fire when I put it back in because I was a dumbass and just put an e-fest in here for the review but it's okay it's okay if not and eh, we'll mess with it and the review video will be a little bit longer i guess uh it does have a i do believe silver plated pin uh that pin is adjustable as well uh when i first got it it was a little bit short to make connection on my flip because i have the solid contact upgrade uh, so I did take a screwdriver and I did get that to screw up or loosen. Uh, so yeah, um, it, again it has the crescent moon and it's got the MII like the original and it does have a serial number of 1733 which doesn't mean shit because it's a clone and then numbers, the serial numbers are just randomized anyway. So... I don't give a shit. Okay, let's go ahead and put this back on. Take another vape. I'll let you guys go. Keep your fingers crossed. Let's hope it. Let's hope it vapes without a hitch. Oh yeah, she's firing. Okay, uh, my building here, believe it or not, with the clouds that I'm blowing is a .22 build. It is a twisted 26 gauge four wrap center post build. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some juice on here. And for the review I am using Vapor's Delight Juice. Uh, it's something that I'm working on at the moment. Don't have an official name. I'm calling it Sunrise for now. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's not released. It's just something I'm working on. And I may not, may or may not come out with it. I think it's pretty good, though. But, okay. Let's go ahead and take a final vape, and I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching, guys.